Welcome in this new episode of Diseño TV. Today, I will show you the basic text effect in Photoshop. By the way, I'm Don Almario of Diseño TV. If you are new in this channel, you will learn a lot in Photoshop. So, please subscribe and click the notification bell to keep you updated. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the another set of episode of our video. Today I'm gonna show you the basic text effect in Photoshop. So first, I'm gonna put up some text. Let's click the text tool. Just uh, click it here in your canvas. Then type something like, you know, I will just type uh, Diseño TV because this is my channel just highlighted it choose a color from here let's choose red okay just click enter all right and let's make it bigger just highlighted the text and let's go here and let's select some font size let's say this Set to 30. Nope. 72. Yeah, that's it. It's much better. Okay. Send it to you. Alright. To start with, I'm gonna go in uh, our layer here. The Senyu TV. As you, uh, as you can see, the Senyu TV this is our layer. Make sure that this is a. Uh, this is the one that you selected then just right click and select the blending options right here this is the effect that we're gonna use in this tutorial so click it can uh, appear some dialog box here so as you can see we have here in styles we got drop shadow inner shadow outer glow inner glow bevel and emboss satin color overlay gradient overlay pattern overlay and stroke these are the styles that we're gonna use for text effect all right let's start in the drop shadow i'll show you how to use it just select this one click and then just select this drop shadow so that you can enter in their dialog box right there and you can set up the the thing that you want to do in your font or in your text out here so blend mode usually gonna use normal one or multiply it depends on you you can just experiment which blend modes gonna be good on your text so opacity you can set the opacity and this is the angle is just make this distance visible you can see the shadows from your text this is the distance all right and this is the spread you can see i will adjust it And the size how it blows the text so it's up to you what kind of arrangement gonna put in this options and this one the angle you can just adjust it like you can make it right here or right here 45 degrees it depends on you all right and usually this is the setting that I'm using if I'm choosing the drop shadow style. Okay, just unclick this. That's the drop shadow. And this is the inner shadow. Let's just click it here. 
as you can see the graph shadow or oh, I mean the inner shadow is inside of the text so the, the drop shadow is outside the text but the inner shadow is inside the text so it's the same settings as from the drop shadow you just adjust the angle the blend modes it's up to you yeah, it's overlay but usually I'm using multiply so that it's not it's visible for your layouts okay it's true you can see the adjustment from your text out here is the size all right that's the inner shadow that's the effect on your text right here so let's move on to the next one the outer glow so maybe you can just skip this one i'll show you later the outer glow and the inner glow so let's move on to the bevel and the emboss thing so let's just click here you can as you can see there's some let's make it something like this so that you can see the difference or the style that we're doing right now bevel all right this is the inner bevel this is the style one so you can just adjust from here the size this is soften this is the setting that if you want to soften the the bevel effect here's the setting so size you know, so it's like this it's enough for me and the screen this is the outlook of the effect as you can see the changes of the roundness of the text there it goes so this is the you know this is the angle as like uh, the drop shadow to adjust the angle of the effect if you choose this one if you choose to increase or to navigate this angle all right so this one the inner bevel you can choose also a uh, outer bevel you can see here it goes just like uh, it's like on the canvas the bevel is from the canvas towards the text it's like you know some metal wordings or something like that they are using this kind of effect this is the bevel outer and this is the inner you can just select which uh, style gonna choose from these options it's up to you you can just experiment and play with it I'm just I just want to select the inner bevel so that we can make something like that all right the contour contour is just like those corners here corners from the text you can adjust from it all right you created some textures in this uh, in this text that you have here this is a bevel and emboss effect so let's move on to the satin one let's click it and you can see it's like a very smooth effect inside of the text so let's just make it uh, more visible just this one and there it goes there's a, there's a contour here you can just click your option let's try this this one you can see the changes this depends on it all right from it this is a good one good effect and you can just adjust it depends on your taste depends on the layout that you're doing it's the size it's like plastic you know like plastic inside of the text it's the opacity it's the effect this is the blend mode so like in the drop shadow it's up to you guys uh, to, to experiment which 
kind of blend mode you're using you can darken just make it normal more screen more multiply it's up to you guys just up uh, it's up to you all right let's move on to color overlay it's red now so let's click the color overlay all right you can just click here to change color so you have to choose color let's say that i want to choose blue here you go just click it okay and this is the opacity it's up to you make it more you adjustment right here and just click that one adjust that one so there it goes that's the color overlay you can change the color from here let's get back to this color so this is the gradient overlay is something cool stuff here this is a cool effect that you can play on with this uh, with this uh, section just click this one you can see the the, the black towards the white section just just click here if you want a different color click from the black if you said just you want a red one choose a darker red here and then go in this white section here and click it here and choose a more lighter red all right let's just adjust it a little more darker so that you can see the gradient effect all right that's it you can see the effect from a darker red here at the bottom and a lighter light uh, lighter red up here you can see the gradient effect from your text so here's the adjustment as well the angle so do what kind of angle you want to choose but for me, I, uh, I would rather choose this kind of angle, 90% uh, degree angle. And the scale, you can just adjust the scale from it. Okay, you can just change the color or whatever color you want, just to satisfy your creative minds as well. All right, let's move on to the pattern overlay. Pattern overlay, I'm not usually using this one. I have two patterns here, but if ever you have a more patterns in your Photoshop, you can just load here, here load, load patterns. But for this one, I just, I, uh, I only have these two patterns out here. Yeah, can change that one. Let's move on to the stroke. This is the outer line of your text. So like this, you can just adjust the size of the stroke by click it here. Adjust it. So you can just move the slide to adjust the stroke in your text. If you want portion outside or inside or even in center. Alright, let's try inside. Yeah, the stroke is from the inside. Center. Gonna be centered. But for me, I'm always using outside. To have a look decent stroke effect on my text. Let's move on to the outer glow and inner glow. Like I've said, because this is from a different... You can see a good effect with a different background on this one. So I'll just make it, click the cancel. All right. And I will just click or unhide this dark color background that I here. Okay, this color, I will change it to, to black, that's it. Can see you still have this effect of uh, the bevel or the both in both one effect. So let's just go to the blending options again. 
and disable this one the bevel and emboss effect okay and uh, let's go to stroke okay, let's change the color let's put it in blue you can see the blue the stroke let's adjust the size like that and now the outer glow here comes the magic of the outer glow let's click the outer glow let's choose the color from here section let's click it here and let's choose the blue same as the stroke of our text so just click ok yes Click the spread, click the size. Ooh, you can see the light coming from around of the text. Here, the light. It's like, you know, it's like a neon, neon text, a neon outer glow light, something like that. So, that's the outer glow effect. You can choose another color. It's up to you what kind of color. I always use screen for the blend mode. Yeah, always use the screen one. All right, let's move on to the to the inner glow. It's like you know, it's like a inner shadow. It shadows from the inner portion of the text, but this one inner shadow from the inside as well all right just unclick this one and let's click for the inner glow let's choose another color same color as well like blue all right same part the size you can see the size you can see the the glow from the inside of the text yeah all right so that's the basic uh, tool or the basic text effect options that's the cool effect from it so there's some I want to show you let's go back to the lighter background let's undo or let's uncheck the inner glow so we don't have any effects available with our text stroke as well okay Good. I want something different from my text it's like uh, a background or a picture or an image inside of my text I want to do that Okay, I will show you how. First, let's take some images from our from our storage file. Open. Let's, let's choose this one. A nice cool road towards the mountains there. Just click OK. Okay, this is our landscape image that i want to put inside of the text just click this image then grab it and drop out here just put in the top of the text layer make sure it's, uh, make sure that uh, the image is on the top of our text layer so here it goes let's make the magic right click and create clipping mask that's it voila now the image is inside of the text now let's adjust the image click ctrl t to transform and always hold the shift for your image to keep proportion okay yeah that's the image inside the text 
okay some kind of cool effect in your text you can put a option a shadow or inner shadow let's try inner shadow you can see that just reduce just the size the distance And just hit OK. All right. That's it for now. Yep. You can see the different uh, text effect in Photoshop. So, see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you updated. If you have a suggestion or want to learn, please comment down below and I will catch up with you guys. So, see you in my next video!